This is ICAC 2024 physics paper, that is science paper one, which just finished and I got this copy in hand just now. What we are going to do is look at the MCQs and you are getting them the solved MCQs first right now. Let us look at our paper. As you know, section A is 40 marks, out of which the first 15 marks are MCQs and you have to solve all of them. Let us look at the first one. When a bell fixed on a cycle rings, then the energy conversion that takes place is, now when you ring the bell, you are pressing that lever. That means there is a movement, so it is not gravitational potential energy. It will be kinetic energy to sound energy, so the option is B, the first one. The second one, the door lock is opened by turning the lever handle of length 0.2 meter. So this is the perpendicular distance of the line of action of force from the axis of rotation. The moment of force is 1 newton meter. The moment of force is going to be force into the perpendicular distance means 0.2. So the force becomes 1 newton meter upon 0.2 means I will write like this. So that will come out to be 5 newton and the answer is A. Question number 3. This seems to be a little tricky. The force F moves the load from A to C. So the moment is going from A to C. The force is moving it from A to C. At a glance when you look at this for the calculation of the work done which of these lengths would you see as the displacement now the force is actually displacing through 5 meters so I would prefer this answer this is the correct answer for the work done by the force okay but if you look at this when the body comes over here it has acquired gravitational potential energy but you will write 3 meters if they ask you what is the work done against gravity. Alright, so that's the time it will be MGH. So this is going to come into account only when we talk about the work done against gravitational potential energy. The force is displacing it by 5 meters so this is the correct option C. Radioactive nucleus contains 128 nucleons, which means protons and neutrons together is 128. It emits a beta particle and after beta particle, the number of nucleons, so P is going to become P plus 1 and the neutrons are going to become N minus 1. Now when you add these, you will have this getting cancelled. And P plus N means 128. It will remain 128. Fifth one, assertion. Ultraviolet radiations are scattered more compared to the microwave radiations. Now the intensity of scattering is inversely proportional to lambda to the power 4, that is wavelength. Now we know that when it comes to UV and the microwaves, the Wavelength of microwave is greater, so you have wavelength of UV is less. Okay, because of that, microwave will be scattered less and UV will be scattered more, which is correct over here. So, assertion is correct. But the reason for that is ultraviolet, the wavelength of ultraviolet radiation is less than, and they have mentioned more than. So, it should have been here less than, that means this is false. So, A is true and this is false and the option is B. When the stem of the vibrating tuning fork is pressed on a table, the tabletop starts vibrations and this is definitely the example of forced vibration because the tabletop will get vibrations under the influence of the external periodic force which is the vibrating tuning fork. Seventh one, which of these is 
class 3 lever pair of scissors is class 1 so no wheelbarrow is class 2 so no crowbar no human forearm yes so this is the this is the direct question from the textbook the specific resistance of the conductor depends upon its material not length not area of cross section these two are interdependent so the correct option is material ninth one identify the option which displays the correct wiring with correct color code now brown wire you know it is live blue is neutral so live is connected to the switch and connected to the appliance and so this will be the return path for the current so this is the correct option now let us look at this brown wire is here this part is correct but the return path is yellow wire now yellow wire is not the correct code for neutral neutral means light blue so let us look at the other two options uh, the switch is connected in blue that means neutral which is wrong and here switch is connected to the earth which is again wrong the switch has to be connected to the live so your option a is the correct option the potential difference between the terminals of the cell in a closed circuit which means the key is shut is the terminal voltage by definition now this 11th one seems to be a little tricky one melting of ice at zero degrees we have ice at zero degrees becomes water at zero degrees first and then it will be water at higher temperature let us say x degree c now ice is going to absorb heat definitely ice is not going to release the heat okay so energy absorbed and energy absorbed out of these two you have to select now tell me if the energy is absorbed by the ice the temperature is it increasing it's becoming water but at the same temperature can you see that so the temperature remains constant as it absorbs moisture this is the correct one so the correct option is b Twelfth one, the linear magnification M produced by the concave lens. Now you know that concave lens always produces, it always produces diminished image and it will be upright image. So it's going to be positive magnification because magnification is I upon O. This is positive, this is also positive and the image is going to be lesser in height than the object because it's a diminished image diminished means it's going to give you a fraction which means m is less than one so correct option is a 13th one the radioactive element placed in an evacuated chamber the rate of radioactive decay will now what is evacuated chamber the air has been withdrawn so the air pressure inside is going to be less but radioactive decay it is a nuclear phenomenon the nuclear phenomenon does it depend upon the physical or chemical changes no so it will remain unchanged so the correct option is c 's come to the 14th one the graph given shows the heat energy supplied against the change in temperature so this is heat that means Q in joules and this is the change in temperature 
So I have delta T will be like so. Then they say slope of the graph. We know that our slope is going to be delta Y upon delta X. This change upon this change. Now delta Y is going to be Q and delta T is on X axis. Now if you can't remember what quantity this is, just remember Q is MC delta T and that upon delta T will have this getting cancelled and we will have M into C which is by definition the heat capacity denoted by C dash. So the correct option is D. Let us come to the last MCQ. The block of glass is pushed into the path of the light as shown below. Then the converging point X will be. What will happen to the converging point? Now I am going to move this block like this. So this is going to show the refraction through a glass block. This is the incident ray and then if you draw the normal, the refracted ray will turn towards the normal and it will emerge parallel to the incident ray. This is the incident ray. Okay, I think this is not quite clear. I just want to magnify the diagram. Let us look at the diagram now. So this is the glass block. If we draw the normal over here, the ray is going to go from rarer to denser. So it will turn towards the normal. Then we have the ray emerging from glass into air. So it will emerge away from the normal and it will be now parallel to this ray. This is the original direction of the incident ray. So now if you produce this, can you see where is this point X? Point X has moved away from the lens. Can you see that? Now let's look at the options. A says it moves away from the slab, towards the slab, no shift, moves towards the left side of the lens. Now left side of the lens is this way, so definitely not this. No shift is not right. Moves towards the slab. Towards the slab means this way. X is not turning this way. It is moving away from the slab because X will be now here. It will undergo refraction and it will meet somewhere here. So the correct option is A. So that finishes our MCQ. I hope you have been able to answer all of them. And you have got full 15 marks. And now the remaining paper by and by I will put up on YouTube. In the meantime, concentrate on the other subjects. All the best for you. Thank you for watching.